What's going on guys? It's Alex with Hypnotech and we are unboxing the Chewy Aero Book, which I bought on Amazon. This is a Windows laptop. Got it on Prime Day. It was on sale and I actually have my eye on this for uh, a few months now and I'm very excited to open this thing up. So we'll get into the specs in a little bit, but let's see what's inside the box. Uh, this has a this is a DC power charger. It has a quick charging capabilities here. Um, and it looks like we have, oh, it's a two-part brick. So yeah, charging brick right out of the box is a pretty hefty charging brick. And uh, there's actually something in this that we'll talk about in a bit, a secondary way to charge it. And here is the laptop itself. So once again, this is a Windows laptop. Chewy's been around for a while. They make some really interesting, affordable laptops. And just right out of the box, this is a very clean looking device. It's not too heavy. It's only at 2.77 pounds, so under three pounds, which is good for a 13 inch laptop. Um, the material, it's metal build, but it, it doesn't feel, it feels a little cheap, honestly. It feels a little bit cheap. It reminds me of like a Lenovo style. Uh, and on the bottom, you have an M.2 SSD slot, so you put your own SSD in there. You know, a majority of laptops nowadays don't allow you to do that, especially like the MacBooks, they don't let you do that anymore. Anyway, there's a little bit of flex here and there. The laptop, like I said, it just doesn't feel too premium. Uh, but at the same time, this is a $400 laptop. I got it for $400 on Prime Day, so I'm sure you'll see prices ranging from there to $500. Uh, and for the specs, it actually is pretty darn impressive. It's a Core M36Y30 processor. This is a 2015, I believe, model. Um, so this was in the MacBook 12-inch, the Asus Chromebook C302, and the HP Chromebook 13G1, which, which we've reviewed on the channel. Uh, multiple ports on here. We have two USB ports, a headphone jack, uh, HDMI, mini HDMI, and a USB-C and a micro SD card slot. It charges, once again, using that DC power, but... It also can charge using USB-C. So this USB-C port is a full functional port. It has power, data transfer, video, and audio. That means you can use it, use it instead of HDMI, you can use it to transfer files, and you can also use it to charge, which is kind of peculiar. Why did they need to throw in um, the DC power and the mini HDMI? I know some people like having those ports, but this is one thing I think Apple does pretty nicely. You know, they don't, overstack things. It's not redundant. Uh, this USB-C port does everything. They should just throw a couple USB-C ports in there. This keyboard also has backlighting, which is terrific, especially for a $400 Windows laptop of a Core M3. I'm very happy with that. This power button, though, is kind of weird. It has like a red border, and the texture on it is different. It feels like a fingerprint scanner, but it's not a fingerprint scanner. There is no Windows Hello on here. There's no... Um, face ID or any uh, verification methods other than your password on this particular laptop. All right, let's talk about the keyboard. This keyboard is a terrific size. I actually really like the size. It feels pretty sturdy and nice. The backlighting, once again, is terrific. Uh, the keys, however, are a little bit mushy for my liking, but some people will like that middle ground between the clickiness and the travel on this keyboard compared to something like the MacBooks. I know a lot of people really don't like the butterfly mechanics. So something like this will really satisfy a lot of people. In my opinion, though, my personal preference, I think it's a little too mushy. But overall, I do like the typing experience, especially the layout. I think it's a terrific layout for spacing. Now, the trackpad is a little bit of a different story. It's plasticky, and definitely you can tell it's one of those mid to lower tier on the laptop space, which this laptop is. It's priced right there at 400 bucks, so I'm not really complaining at all. But the illusion of a premium MacBook feeling, because this kind of does look like a MacBook replica, it just makes you feel like it should be better than it is. But for what you're paying, this is exactly what you normally get in other laptops for this space, that $405 space, $400 to $500 space. So... Uh, it's clicky, it's a little mushy, but it's okay, it works. And of course, we're running Windows 10. Let's actually look at what the specs are to confirm that we actually have everything that they're selling us on. 
And then indeed, you can see we are running that Core M3 processor, that couple years old Core M3 processor, and it seems like all the specs match up correctly. So uh, we're going to talk about this a little bit later on too, but window, oh, it's also not a touchscreen, by the way. This is not a touchscreen. So traditional laptop form factor does not, the hinge does not stretch all the way around. It's not 360. This is traditional laptop at its core. Uh, okay, so I want to talk a little bit now about this display. So this display, once again, it's a 13.3 inch IPS panel. And I think it just, it, it just pops the colors really nicely for a $400 display. Like, you know, in the Chromebook space, $400, you get a 1080p screen, kind of like what we have here. And I think this rivals a lot of those four to $500, $600 Chromebooks. And I'm actually really, really happy with this display. As you can see, the colors here are just, they, they work really nicely for an IPS display. And once again, this was $399. It was really affordable. The viewing angles are awesome, really. It's awesome. I've had Windows laptops in this three dollars to $400 range, and displays aren't that great. Okay, so lastly, let's talk a little bit about the performance. So I haven't really had a chance to play too much with it since this is a hands-on and unboxing, so be sure to come back for a full review. But uh, initial web browsing and you know loading up a couple YouTube videos and opening up like The Verge and Yahoo where there's a lot of content that takes a lot of time to load, I do see some slowdown. And it's a little jarring at first, especially coming from higher-end laptops like a MacBook or like Lita's previous review, which was the Surface laptop, uh, you do kind of see a little bit of a slowdown and it takes a little bit longer for pages to load. And when I compare this with other core, like I said, I've used this processor, this Core M3 6Y30 processor many times. We've reviewed many laptops on this channel. Be sure to click on the links. I'm going to have them linked in this video. Those feel like they run better, but that's also because the OS is different. So I've had this on Chromebooks, and the Core M3 works really nicely on Chromebooks. This fanless processor is very efficient on Chromebooks because the Chrome OS operating system is just much more, it's much simpler than what Windows is. Windows' architecture is it's just much more sophisticated than Chrome. So there is potential there for slowdown because it's running Windows with this processor. Uh, and also the MacBook, the MacBook 12 inch that I had, the, I think it was the 2016 model. Um, I thought the performance was actually really good. And I remember it loading these pages much more efficiently. So I do think it has something to do with windows and this processor just having to work harder because it's windows. Uh, and that's to be expected because windows is a very advanced operating system in the, in the core of it. So, um, you know, it's acceptable. It seems survivable. It just, it's an extra couple seconds every single page compared to something like those uh, other devices with the Core M3 that I was talking about. But regardless, uh, I do think for $400, I'm really excited to just go through this thing, check it out, play some games on it, just completely explore what I can do with it. Maybe even want to run a few emulators. But I've always wanted a cheap Windows laptop with the best specs I could get. And this one right now, Core M3 for 400, I'm actually really happy to see this in the ballpark. So I want to check it out even more. So come back for our full review very soon. I'm Alex with Tech, and I'll see you guys next time. And that's it. Be sure to subscribe here. Hit the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos. And check out our other videos right here. Until next time, 